My name's uh, Phil Langley. I charter fish and work to water for a living. Uh, my name is Joseph Martin and I uh, work on a charter fishing boat as a mate. The name of the boat is Chesapeake Chorn. The style of the boat is the, it's a Chesapeake Bay uh, traditional dead rise built in Cambridge, Maryland. Grandparents uh, all worked the water uh, generations and uh, growing up as a kid my dad would take me like most kids that go fishing as a little kid you'd start out he would take me fishing and I'd get the experience being out on the water. My actual dad was not a traditional waterman he just kind of played around part-time whereas my uh, my grandfather you know and previous generations they, their livelihoods were totally on the water. Uh, but I guess I was born with salt water in my veins. I, uh, as a kid, it just, just grew on me. And then once I got into my teens, I was doing some uh, crabbing and, and oystering. And, and I thought it would be pretty cool to take people fishing uh, and get paid for it. So I got my captain's license, uh, I guess, when I was 20, 21, and uh, bought my first charter boat. I started off just with most people that are you know local around here being on the water as kids and going fishing and crabbing and then i started helping i had a couple uncles and grandfathers and they sold crabs and fish and oysters and helping them in the summertime as a kid and just kind of going from there i i had actually just looked around and was looking at uh, trying to get a hold of people that you know would need help trying to find somebody yeah. And it and it's rare because most of the time when you when you find a a young man that uh, is is available, it's referred to you or or somebody else knew him or or you kind of had a background. And you asked somebody, and um, I lost the the mate that I had on the boat who moved on, and um, I Joey actually sent me a resume uh, that was uh, he was looking for to be a mate on a charter boat and uh and things kind of fell into place he came down and i talked to joe uh we visited him and he, he seemed like a very pleasant young man and uh so the journey started joey had had some water experience but uh having water experience it's, it's just like all trades that you do crabbing is different from oystering oystering is different from crabbing and charter fishing is different from from both of them so uh it's it's uh the littlest things make a huge difference and there's a lot of guys that that know how to fish it's like me when i said when i first went into charter boat business i said it's fishing how hard can it be but but boy there's a the, all the little teeny stuff is what makes the huge difference between being successful consistently and not being successful because when you're when you're for hire when when people are paying you to take them fishing you you need to be successful quite a bit so you've you've you learn all the little things that make a huge difference I've diversified over the years, and it's just like any business, you've, you've got to diversify. Uh, I'm so far south in St. Mary's County that a lot of people that, if they want to go fishing, there's a lot of places that they can stop before they get to me. I'm your most southern county on the western shore of Maryland. So for me to have a successful business, I've got to, I've got to do things that maybe the other guys aren't doing. I've got to be able to go the extra mile to make it worth the while for the customers to travel the extra difference. I do some eco tours and uh, what we call waterman heritage tours where I take people out on the water and teach them about oystering and crabbing, let them go out and pull crab pots and teach them the differences between males, females, peelers, the migration of crabs and also oysters. But give people hands on and as, as you're talking to them and explaining things to them, also letting them get the true experience as far is uh, being there and actually touching and seeing and you know how to hold a crab without getting bit. <laughs> I have a passion for the water and for the environment and I certainly want to see it here for you know my kids and and my grandkids and their grandkids so it's it's a balance that's what the educational stuff i hope does is is teaching people getting them involved 
to to where they have an interest into it. Uh, and it's 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 a balance. I've seen some changes. The bay isn't what it was when I was a kid. There was a lot more grasses, and you know, uh, as as a kid, you know, you grew up what we call chicken necking, you know, where you caught crabs off a dock with a string line. And there's been times when that's been a lot more difficult to teach people and show them what to do, just because the populations have have diminished from from what they were at one time they have they are coming back it appears so i think we're we're making steps in the right direction i get pretty involved uh and into the fisheries side of it because i think that you have to get involved uh to to make a difference you know in what we're doing so uh, i do set on the uh uh I'm one of the Maryland commissioners on the Potomac River Fisheries Commission, and I sit on Maryland Sport Fish Advisory, and I am the current president of Maryland Charter Boat Association as well, and I sit on some local things here in the county, the Forest Ag Seafood Tourism and uh, uh, Department of Economic Development. So uh, it's I stay pretty busy and involved into when I'm not on the water, I'm normally at a meeting 